They may have, they may have uh, looking around and saying, uh, why are we sitting on the bad side? If you look at the, the uh, papers that's on the wall, fornication, adultery, drunkenness, ungodliness, uncleanness, fitting in, doubt, confusion, death, hatred, lying, cheating, murdering. You may say, well, I'm sitting on the side with light, goodness, faith, love, promise, joy, peace, Bible, life, fulfillment, holiness, freedom, Holy Spirit, and the impossible being fulfilled. But the Bible says, crossing on to the other side. This is what the flesh is used to. This, the flesh is used to being angry for no reason. The flesh is used to being confused. The flesh is used to being uh, uh, walking in doubt. Especially when you know you can do it already. Your flesh is con conditioned to doubt. Your flesh is conditioned to fail. Sometimes you feel like enough, sometimes you don't. Sometimes, sometimes you feel like praying, sometimes you feel like reading your Bible. Am I talking to anybody in here? Sometimes you feel like praying for people and you don't, sometimes you don't. And this is where our flesh is sitting, right here. Right here. Some urges, some desires rise up in us as being men and women of God that on this side we give in to them. On this side. And your flesh is already conditioned to start procrastinating. As being college student, I said it's already being conditioned. Oh man, we should start a class. I ain't got to study. Oh, I, we we ain't got no papers yet. Oh, I don't need to read chapter one. I get to that later. I get to that later. We already we already walking on this side on this side when God has revealed to us or introduced us to that side. Uh huh. We we pushed away every. Godly person in our life. Am I talking to anybody out there? Oh, I know I am. We pushed away all godly people. We pushed away church. We pushed away God Himself. We pushed away the Bible. That's why we find ourselves uh, falling to every trick of the enemy because we don't. First of all, we don't know the trick, and, and then second of all, we don't have no power to go against the trick. But it's time to stand up in power. Stand. What does that mean? Have it. Are maintaining an upright position. Maintaining an upright position. How many of you have stood for a long period of time? What is your first urge? After a long period of time, what do you want to do after you've been standing all day? <laughs> Sit down. Now, can I bring it to you, to, to, to you Christian? What do you feel like doing when, you, when, you, when you've been, been uh, 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 bringing forth peace all your life, been bringing forth truth all your life, and been bringing forth light all your life, goodness all your life? What do you feel like doing spiritually? Taking a break. Taking a break, which means literally sitting down. Postponing the deliverance of others. You might want to write that down. Postponing the deliverance of others when you don't walk in your deliverance. Standing up in power, this is this is and this, is, this ain't nothing spiritual. This is just common sense. Standing up in power means you're gonna take a bath. Standing up in power means you're gonna brush your teeth. Standing up in power means you know you're gonna get your do done. You know, you know get your nails in. But don't put them like that, okay? But. <laughs> You could be like scratch and say like a cat, but you know, <laughs> cross over to the other side. That's when we have to stand up and study. Now the Bible says the Bible says it's all right to be angry. That's what the Bible says, right? But He said, don't let the sun go down upon your anger. Amen. Sin, sin not. That don't mean you gotta slap nobody ties because you angry. That don't mean you gotta you gotta a uh, 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 pop a cap with somebody, but because you mad. Hey, hey. That, hey, ladies, that don't mean you got to pop a cap in the baby's daddy because he don't pay child support. Hey, Amen. If you, oh goodness, right. If you if you had the authority and you stood up to lay down there and take the half the baby, then what it take to have the baby? You should do what it take to take care of the baby. Amen. That's the difference between a father and a dad. Yeah. Guess what? You can find out what God's gonna do for you when you study. I'm not just talking about butt. I'm not talking about chest. I'm not talking about pornography. I'm not talking about uh, uh, drinking and, and all that kind of stuff. I'm talking about studying the living word of God. Amen. And when you study the living word of God, the Holy Spirit reveals you revelation and knowledge. Uh -huh. Revelation and knowledge is not given to you by any man, but the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. 
Revelation now is going to be your new car. Revelation now is going to be your new house. Reve- boy, I feel, I feel good tonight, boy. I'm going to have some good sleep. Stand up in power. Stand up in power. Reading your Bible. Christians are getting away from studying their Bible. Amen. Why is that? Because you don't believe it's true. Yeah, you don't want to lose membership. Oh, you don't want to lose membership? Guess what? Guess what else you're losing there? If you don't want to lose membership, you're losing souls. I'm going to say that one more time. Guess, you don't want to lose membership? Guess what? You're losing shell souls. Because you're causing souls, you're causing souls to walk in confusion now. And along with that confusion, walk in rebellion. And along with their rebellion, walk in what they want to do. Reprobate mind. The Bible speaks about the Romans. Mm-hmm. Everybody that's sitting in the Bible. Reprobate mind. And when a person is a reprobate mind, it's the Holy Spirit. The only, only thing that can convert them, can convert them from a reprobate mind is the Holy Spirit. A reprobate mind is like, hey, how many of y'all got like little brothers and sisters? How many of y'all ever told your brothers and sisters to stop doing this? Mm-hmm. And they're like, no. <laughs> Why, why, mm, why, why do they keep doing it? They're used to doing it. Along with across the other side, the Lord wants, sometimes he wants to blow your mind sometimes. Mm-hmm. He wants to blow your mind. Now on this side, he can't blow your mind. Because you're so too restricted with doubt, shame, feeling un, uh, un, unwanted. Man, nobody want me, man. Oh, I ain't going to never go on a date. Am I in the body closet? You know, they don't like me. Oh, come on. Come on. I mean, let me, let me, oh, let me, okay, let me, let me reveal something. Maybe they'll come by me. No. Because when you do things the wrong way, all you attract is the wrong thing. You attract the wrong thing when you start doing it with the wrong motives. When you start compromising, you, you attract the wrong thing. Yeah, the answer can be right there on the on the table, y'all. You got a choice. Whoa, what's he saying here? We got a substitute. Okay. <laughs> no, right on your home. You know you can't see because you're so dumb. You know. <laughs> <laughs> We're going. That's a little joke. A little joke. A little joke. Good. Ah! Everybody say get happy. Get happy. Everybody say be happy all the time. Be happy all the time. How many of y'all happy all the time? Right. No. <laughs> I know, because I, 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 I see you. I see you. You see me? I see you. Yeah, I see you. I see you. Oh, goodness. Uh, everybody say fast and pray. Fast and pray. You need to do. You need to do. Everybody say you need to do. You need to do. You need to do. Because you need, on, this, on this side, on this side, the impossible is possible. The impossible is possible. How many of y'all want to see angels? Does this pop on that side? How many of y'all want to see demons? Because along with seeing de- uh, angels, you're going to see demons too. Okay. Right? How many of y'all want to walk in the prophetic? Okay. How many of y'all want to walk in the gift of healing? Everybody say, get rid of the restrictions then. Get rid of the restrictions then. For those of you watching me, your restrictions may be your boyfriend. Your restriction may be your girlfriend. Maybe your restriction is that little bad friend you hang around. They hard headed. 